friends today's topic of discussion is timetable for diploma civil engineering so they are having these five subjects that is eac ire dss and cte and phe that is eac that is estimating and costing ire that is irrigation engineering dss that is design of steel structure cte that is concrete engineering and phe that is public health engineering so as you must be knowing that eac and ire and dss will be more time consuming and cte and phe is comparatively easier if you compare with these three subject so what i have done in this study timetable i have given more days to ire dss and eac so i have kept 6 days for ire 6 days for dss and Four and a half day. One, two, three, four and half. One, two, three, four and four and a half for CTE. So, starting from tomorrow and up to eighth, because ninth your examinations are starting from nine to twenty third. So you have to have a timetable from thirteen to eighth. Okay. So. this is this timetable is for your reference only you can make your own timetable but as you can see with this timetable you are now having 6 days for ire 6 days for dss and 6 days for eac and 4 and a half day for phe and 4 and a half day for cte so starting from tomorrow the available time you can split into two that is phe you can do and cte you can do and then you can start with ire for Two days and then shift to PHE and you can do on 16th and then again go to DSS for two days. Okay, after doing DSS for two days, you can do CTE. So what you can do, whatever portion you have completed over here, and then you have to stop and then start again whenever the turn comes. Like IRE, you have done on these two days, 14th and 15th, and then again 23rd, you can start. from where you have left and complete 23rd and 24th you can use for ire and then stop and then again start on 1st and 2nd okay and again you can do it when the examination is there okay similarly dss you can have on 17 and 18th and then again you wherever you have stopped you can start on 26th and 27th you can do something and wherever you stop and then again you can start on 4th and fifth you can do dss so this is the timetable which you can use for your reference purpose and the condition here i have kept is that i will be using more days for ire and more days for dss and more days for ea so as you can see 13th phe and ct 14th ire 15th ire then 16th phe 17th dss 18th dss 19th ct 20 EAC 21st EAC 22 PHE 23rd IRE then 24th IRE 25th CT 26th DSS 27th DSS 28th PHE 29th EAC then EAC on 30 31st CTE and then first you can start like November 1st you can start IRE then again second IRE third PHE fourth and fifth DSS 6th ct and 7th and 8th ese because 9th you have the paper ese okay and then your paper is starting from 9th and your examination will be up to 23rd so this is the timetable you can make your own timetable based on your preferences and the time is which is suitable for you you may have one one day kept for each subject or you may split your each day into two subject depending on your comfort level okay so best of luck for your examination hope you like the video we'll again meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye